Yo, what's up guys, Sex here. Hope you're all having a wonderful day today. I have some super exciting Call of Duty Infinite Warfare DLC 4 retribution footage for you in this video. In this high kill gameplay, you're gonna see hard point gameplay on the map Carnage. I want to give you a very special thank you to Activision for providing me airfare as well as paying for my hotel so that I could travel out to the Infinity Ward Studios to capture all of this DLC 4 retribution footage. With this experience, I was able to hang out and capture some footage with a bunch of other awesome Call of Duty content creators from literally all over the world. I'm incredibly thankful for the experience as well as the opportunity to bring you an early look at the gameplay for the Retribution DLC content. The map we're currently playing on is called Carnage and is described as a post-apocalyptic racetrack along the California coast. Carnage features long sight lines and environmental hazards including a fire trap that players can activate on command to roast their enemies. Another environmental hazard you're going to see is right here when all of these players in the kill feed all jump to their death at the same time. So I definitely want to suggest you, <laughs> for new players playing this map, you're going to see two different spots in the gameplay where you spawn at this particular location and you don't want to blindly jump down because you're going to fall to your death. In this location, be sure to utilize the wall run to access the point on the map you're trying to attempt to reach. Otherwise, you're just going to fall to your death and, you know, rest in peace to you. But it says the players can have a mixture of locations to utilize throughout the map and pushing for the objective or defending it. In addition to that, I also feel like the openness is experienced when we see the longer lines of sight. The open areas allow me to really benefit from running some lethal score streaks, which you're going to witness in this hardpoint gameplay. I was able to kind of rotate around the map, playing off of the hardpoint, playing around the objective, in addition to jumping on and capturing a few points as well. I picked up some defend kills as well as did my part in slaying around the hardpoint just to make sure my team was able to get all the necessary kills that we possibly could. One tip I can give you while playing on this hard point location, I would definitely play that where the spot where I'm at now. You have the cover fire from both sides and you can pick up kills from your opponents whenever they push from either side of the street. So you can get the defend kills, you can slay out, you can get objective points and really start stacking your score streaks right here. I believe this little streak here was the starting point of me getting, I believe I, I believe if I remember correctly, I got three wardens in a row without dying. I was running um, UAV, warden and advanced UAV. I was running some of the variants of them, but I I really started to go off on this streak. My warden was absolutely shredding because of the openness in the map. The advanced UAVs were super useful. I was playing the objective when I could. I was picking up kills around it, and I felt like this was just a great map to be able to play a hard point on, in my opinion. I didn't get to play Carnage on any other game modes, so I can't really say how it's going to play or what it's going to feel like, you know, for playing Domination or Uplink or anything like that. But for Hardpoint, it felt good. The the points rotated around the map, obviously. It felt pretty balanced. It had them all around the outsides of the map and, and then one location in the middle bridge as well. So I don't know for sure how to play in other game modes, but I feel like it felt pretty balanced. Um, I think it'll be great overall. It's a pretty big map. You could probably space out with the different lanes and paths you see. You could probably um, have some long range gunfights in addition to pushing throughout the building, stuff like that. You could probably run SMGs and stuff like that as well. With all that being said, I'm going to leave you with the rest of this gameplay footage to check out. This was a super dope game because, in addition to dropping a high amount of kills, I believe I almost hit an 80 bomb. But the opposing team also managed to make an incredible comeback towards the end, and we ended up with some high energy gameplay at the end. Um, I thought we were going to lose, to be honest. Like, I don't want to blow it. I guess I probably already did. I messed up. Anyways, if you're going to get a fail in the chat, please. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you're pumped for DLC 4 content, be sure to leave a like. Be sure to subscribe. we got all kind of things coming over the next few days as far as DLC 4 footage. So be sure to check out all those videos. I'll try to get them all linked in, in the descriptions and get them linked up together. But, you guys, I'm so excited for all things Call of Duty right now. There's so much going on with the channel. We're at a, at a crazy time whenever so many different games um, are just vibing right now. You know, we have Call of Duty World War II stuff coming out in, in this fall. You know, I'm just so pumped for everything going on, you guys. I'm so hyped, and I can't wait to keep bringing you more footage, more experiences, and just pumping out all things Call of Duty. So, you guys, be sure to like and subscribe. Like I said, I will catch you guys soon. Um, keep an eye out for this Infinite Warfare DLC pack as well. It's coming out September 12th on PlayStation Network on the PS4, and it'll probably follow on Xbox and other platforms roughly about 30 days later. That's usually what we see. So, I will catch you guys soon in another DLC 4 video. Until then, I will see you later. Peace. Advanced UAV ready. Oh my god, okay, there's a way to get through that cannon thing. Your team captured the hard point. Enemy UAV in your vicinity. Drone support is active. The enemy has.
has captured the hard point. Your team captured the hard point. has captured the hard point. Your team captured the hard point. Prepare to move to the next location. Mission success is imminent. Friendly drone support is active. Hard point location set. The enemy has captured the hard point. Captured the hard point. Hard point contested. Enemy UAV. The enemy has captured the hard point. Your teammate called in Scorcher. Captured the hard point. Your team captured the hard point. Hard point contested. Hard point contested. Entering airspace. <laughs> Ally Trinity rocket arrived on site. Your team captured the hard point. Hard point. The enemy has captured the hard point. Your team captured the hard point. Hard point contested. The enemy has captured the hard point. Friendly bombardment incoming. Your team captured the hard point. Hard point identified. The enemy has captured the hard point. Scarab active. Prepare to move to the next location. Hard point identified. Your team captured the hard point. 